it's a weekend vlog because today I'm going to a Christmas garden centre for the first time this year. It is the 14th of October, but I don't think that's early. It's two months. That's fine. But apparently the garden centre has all their Christmas stuff, so best believe I'm going. Hey, gorgeous boy. Oh, a little bit of makeup. And I didn't have time to wash my hair because I woke up a little bit late and my mum was like, we're leaving at half ten. And I woke up at half nine. But that's because I was reading all night. So if I've got a bit of greasy hair today, I guess it doesn't matter. But I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on because I'm going to use my skin tint. I'm obsessed. Oh, Percy wants to sniff. Little whiskers. I love this skin tint. It is so good. Oof. Just had a shower, so I had to scrape my hair back. I don't know how we're going to work with this. I don't, know, I don't think I've got a lot of dry shampoo left. Who cares? Who cares? This will do. Right, this is shambles. And then tomorrow, we're going pumpkin picking. And I can't wait. We're doing an evening one. I've never done that before. How fun does that sound? They said they have live music, marshmallows, fire, like food and drink. I was like, get me there. Get me there. Although it's in like... Near Blackburn, so I've never been. Honestly, let's just get ready. I'm gonna have to do a concoction though. Also, I've been obsessed ever since Spotify came out with audiobooks. I wasted my hours in two and a half days. How bad is that? I listened to the Love Hypothesis because that came up and I was like, oh, I, I loved that book when it first came out. And I'm really picky with, you know, the voices. I tried to listen to a few, but I just couldn't get on the hype of their voice. Like, um, I listened to Culty after that and I loved that. Um, but I ran out of hours halfway through, so I had to go on Audible. Luckily, it's free on Audible, <laughs> so I could finish it. But I loved Culty. I loved... What did I read after that? All Roads Lead Here. I used one of Owen's credits so I could listen to that. The boys... The man's voice took me off um, guard for a sec, though. It was... It sounded not real. Like, it was so deep. I was like, oh, my God. Um, and then I tried to listen to The Birthday List by Devney Perry. And, oh, I just couldn't get into any of the voices for the man or the woman. I don't know why. Which is annoying because it's free and audible. I don't want to have to use another credit. Um, but yeah, that just put me off. Also, happy Hopeless release day yesterday. Has anyone read Hopeless by Elsie Sylvia? I was reading Caught Up by Liz Tomford. So I haven't read it yet. And I enjoyed that. If you've read that, it's the Windy City series. But it was like a 3.8. It was cute. I enjoyed it. But the right move was like a 4.5 for me. And... Mile high was like nearly a five, like 4.8 for me. So it wasn't on par, but I did really enjoy it. It was just cute, I think. God. This skin tint is so good. I've had to mix a bit of concealer in because, I mean, my neck is a bit tanned, but the rest of me isn't. <laughs> but enough book talk. I will go get ready. Then let's go see some Christmas lights. I'm so excited. <laughs> I reckon we're gonna walk in and you know when they put them signs up like we're not finished <laughs> there's not gonna be anything I don't know we'll see yeah all right oh they've even got a couple bits already 
Aww. How cute. Look at the little head wigs. Look. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you put it <laughs> Look how angry that one looks. I like it. Look. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It, it kind of is a snowy owl, isn't it? Look at this one. Oh, they're nice. Five hundred. Five hundred. Look at that one up there as well. <laughs> Mum was like, "What's Christmas?" Oh, you can put it in the tree. <gasps> Look at all of them in the tree. Can we get some? And one of them are hungry. Oh, these are nice. You'll feel as soft as a fro should. No. They cost the same as our fro, though. They are nice. Here we are. One of the Christmas nights. No, no. Oh. Oh, what theme do you want to go? Nah. I don't care about autumn now. It's Christmas. Don't need more pumpkins. We'll start off with the greens. I don't know. I don't know what. Fi Last year, all we did was buy random ones because it was our first one. So I don't think we have anything, you know, that actually matches. These are quite cute for the. Look at this. I don't know. I don't know. Can we get the no? What are they called? Gong. What are they called? Gongs? No, um, I thought they, they, the one, they have a proper name. It's got a gong, isn't it? <laughs> have you not? No oh. I quite like some of the green. <laughs> I want something for the fireplace. You know, like on either side. I can't get anything Christmassy yet. No, on the 1st of November, I decorate for, for Christmas without the tree. <laughs> So I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why are they dead cute? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> these are cute. I really like all of these little cute ones. One year, my mum nearly broke one. It was quite funny. Cause, <laughs> well, it's not, but it was. <laughs> oh, cute. I get away with a few pink flowers. This is mum's favourite. I don't know what colour. Oh, yeah, well, should we do the blue one? I didn't see, I didn't see that big um, thing there. <laughs> <laughs> These are quite nice. Put candles in. My candles are nearly breaking. I need to get new ones. I think I did get red ones last year. Do you know what? I love all the old traditional stuff. Which one do you like? Yeah. You have to have a massive tree though. Oh, yeah. Put it on the door. Mm. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, how much are they? Uh, six ninety nine. They say it at the top one. <laughs> What's that one? Love. Joy. Joy. Do you know what? I don't really like blue. Like all blue. But yeah. Yeah. Not, oh, I like him. He's all frosty. He's a yeah. Chill. It's a bit chilly outside. I don't really. I quite like the gold and red and green, just like yeah. traditional colours. I think. I want a wreath for the door. Uh, <laughs> Look, this is sophistication. <laughs> the boring one. I quite like these. They're weird. Weird and wonderful. They're just like random. I feel like I just like all the different textures I want a tree. See, that red one looks 
like something I want to yeah. look at. Wait, what's this one? Oh, purple. Have we ever done purple? No. Should we do red? I always wanted to get a feather bow for a tree, but I never have. It's, like, it's a bit random, isn't it? But a lot of people do it, I guess. No. It's got no batteries in. They're nice. Put a couple in the tree or? No, to put them on the, the new porch. I know. Oh, look at this little sound there. He looks so happy to be there. Look at the little reindeers. I like these ones, they're funny. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I know. That's nice. I like that. Oh, look at the little pig. <laughs> I think they're quite nice. I don't even know what bubbles we have because they were just so weird. Yeah. UK, Brexit. He's drunk. Oh, I like these ones. Yeah. I like the traditional Santas. Can we have some of them? Oh, look at the little birds. And their little hats. Yeah. Oh, I like them as well. <laughs> It's time. See, do you know what? I feel like if we had our kitchen done, I'd like to have a little tree in there. Yeah. I'd like to have one fake tree that I can put up in the kitchen once it's done up. But yeah, next year, I'll get a fake tree for the kitchen. Oh, I like him. And it can be a random one. I like that. Oh, what are these? Funny ones. Wow, I couldn't make them though. Oh, this is supposed to be a unicorn. A unicorn. Oh, I love all of these. Look at this. I want that. I like all these ones. I feel like it's like. You like Santa's workshop kind of tree, and I love it. I love the pom poms so much. What on the wall? That's the ceiling. Ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you meant? <laughs> this is my favourite one because it's all the ra absolutely random ones. I want a little tree where I can just have loads of weird ones. Yeah, they're all different. We've got this whole other bit to look at, but we're gonna go off food because my dad's just been sat there the whole time. <laughs> Good my dad will feed you. Are you getting up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the little trees. So we're gonna get the veggie breakfast, but with no mushrooms. Because when we were eating, my parents' oven broke like a week ago. And the man came, was that I'm early? We were like 40 minutes away, so we had to rush home. And then we rushed back out to the farm shop to get eggs. And then I feel like it just. And then I got distracted because I, I started to read Hopeless by Elsie Silver. I'm so excited that that's out. Um, so, started that. I'm loving that so far. And then I yeah, just got distracted. And then we had a chippy tea together. Honestly, I've ate like crap today. And um, it's taken everything in me not to go to the shop and get a cake. And I don't know why. I'm just craving like a big cake. Honestly, I like calorie count most days in the week. As soon as it gets to the weekend, <laughs> I 
back on. And I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, I'm just... It's taking everything in me not to go. And like, I could just like order something. Although I don't really know what dessert places we have around here. Oh, I could have a sticky toffee pudding though. Or even a McFlurry. I'm gonna beg Owen to get me a McFlurry on his way home. But he won't because he just says that they're weird and boring. But I love them. So I'm just gonna have to sell on a mini roll for now, but it's fine. Like, I should stop. This is why I'm not a skinny person. Like, this is my problem <laughs> and I'm kind of okay with it. But yeah, I'm literally just gonna sim read and that is it this evening. I've even got the fire on and everything. I know I need to have a bath because I've not washed my hair in so long and it, it needs it. I've literally just been sat here with the fire on. Also, right, I want to get shelves either side of my TV, but my family is saying it'll be too cluttered and I just don't agree with it because I feel like I probably am like a maximalist. Like if Owen didn't live here, I would have the most colourful full house, but I hate, honestly, I wish he was just one of them people that didn't care. But I feel like a shelf either side with my favourite books on would just make the whole space feel really cosy. But honestly, I love it. I've had the fire on all week. I've got me new chairs that I painted. I've got me candle on. I've got free drinks, apparently. Um, I had to put all my books on the floor because we, we ate on the table. But honestly, I'm really enjoying myself. I'm probably going to find a cosy little YouTube video to watch. I'm pretty sure Gemma Louise Miles. Do you know what's really funny? The fact that the ma the fact is that she you know if someone has a full name on YouTube, I will always say their full name. It won't just be Gemma. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, she's done a autumn day in the life. Maybe I'll watch that. I'll eat a mini roll and then I don't know. I think when Owen comes back, we're gonna watch Goblet of Fire and have a really cozy night in, which I can't wait. I mean it's already late, so depends what time, because I'm always tired. But I'm really excited for pumpkin picking tomorrow. I feel like it's going to be so cute. Two of my friends might be coming as well, which is exciting. But they haven't bought their tickets yet. It's literally tomorrow. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's fun. And then in the morning, honestly, it might just be a, a cleaning day. And yeah, which is depressing. I need to do like a wardrobe and makeup clear out at some point as well. But I also need to figure out what I want for Christmas and what I want for my birthday. Because I love doing a what I want for Christmas video, like Christmas wish list every year. And I normally do it in October. Just, you know, I like to be extra prepared, to be honest. But yeah, and my birthday is next month, but I just don't know what I want. My parents, like, will ask soon. And I'll be like, I just want them shelves, really, outside of the TV. It's weird to just get shelves for your birthday. Nah, it's not, is it? Ignore how bad the quality is and how bad I look. But Owen isn't going to be back for a while. I don't know why. I'm craving olives. So I just quickly went to co-op. I have such like going out in the dark. I hate going out in the dark. So even though it's only like nine o'clock, I'm proud of myself. But I'm going to make myself a Greek salad because I'm craving it. And I was like, it's better than eating a cake. But I'm just craving olives. Green olives though, I don't like the purple ones as much. I also got some hummus and apples I can snack on this weekend. But yeah, I think I have. Let's have a look in the fridge. I've got feta, rocket, cucumber and red onion. Perfect. I also had sun-dried tomatoes yesterday for my Greek salad, but I hate them all. <laughs> They're just so good. Even though my stomach hates tomatoes, can't stop. But yeah, let's make a good Greek salad. I might have some hummus on it as well. I don't know. Hi, Percy Pig. I actually think that looks so nice, if I do say so myself. I'm so excited. I mean, I normally, I don't have any dressings. Um, Sometimes I put, um, what is it? Honey and mustard, that's the dressing I like the most, but honestly, it's still good because it's got cheese and olives on. And my eyes are stinging from cutting that onion. <laughs> 
good morning i feel like i never actually filmed my own suite but i don't like this room i hate the tiles but it's fine oh won't let me replace them so <laughs> gotta deal with it but it's time for me to finally wash my hair and just get ready for the day and do a bit of skincare so i always use this little um I don't know, I think I got it a few years ago, like body shop cleanser thing. Why is it wet? This. But yeah, I always use this. I have no idea what it is. It's like them like Foreos that are like at my price range. This was like 25 quid. And I just like it. I've had it for a while now. And then I go between two cleansers. I either use the Be Gone Temple Spa or the La Roche Posay Effaclaw. I don't really know. Ethical H, something, something. <laughs> oh, but I'm going to use double. Why do I say double? Be gone. Kind hearted cleansing cream because this just makes your skin feel so soft. There's COVID on the planes and I love her mom, but it's the season of the sticks and I saw your mom. She forgot that I existed. all these this is my mission for the morning and it's all the shelves i hate them i feel like i want to get like storage in there instead of just having shelves because they just i'm not a clean person but i've rejigged my room around and i think i prefer it ignore that i did my makeup yesterday but i've got a little desk and then my mirror's there now i'm quite happy with it but the first job is put all my washing away because last night I threw on the chair and went to bed which isn't the best thing to do but I think it's all right you know I was tired then I need to clean the bathrooms oh, do you know what I hate cleaning I hate cleaning I wish I was like you know like people clean when they're stressed or when they're like unhappy I wish I was like that so my house is just always clean but I'm just just lazy also last night I finished hopeless and it was just like okay i feel like maybe because it was overhyped obviously it's the last one in the series and i feel like everyone's been waiting for bo's book is that how you pronounce it bo i feel like it is um but yeah i rated it 3.5 it was just okay out of the Chestnut Springs series, my least favourite is Powerless, then Hopeless, then I just could not get into Powerless at all. Um, I did like that. I don't know what I rated Powerless, maybe a 2. I think I rated it a 2 or a 2.5. Um, Hopeless, 3.5. Flawless, a 4. Reckless 4.5 and then Heartless 10 out of 5 because I love Heartless. Heartless is the best one just because I love Cade and I love Willa. I feel like Willa's the best character in every single book to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to put my clothes away, dry my hair, have a clean and then I need to do my nails. And I don't know what colour to go for um, because it's pumpkin picking i kind of want to do orange but then these nails will be on next weekend when i have a night out and i don't know what i'm wearing for that but i feel like orange won't match and it might look a bit weird okay so i've decided for nails i think i'm gonna go for this color i literally made this like three years ago of loads of colors i had and it actually comes in like so useful but yeah these were the sort of colors i was feeling but i've never used this like deep purple and i feel like it kind of gives us spooky season vibes. It is. You have a name. 24? Lavender violets? Also, it's not my fault. <laughs> it looks really minging because I um, accidentally peeled it while peeling a sweet potato. So that's good. 
I think my nails actually came out so nice. I don't know how well you can see that. But I don't know why I've never used this colour before. I know the dusty table. <laughs> but I think it's really, really nice. Don't look too closely. I'm not perfect. Um, but, yeah, I think they're really nice. And now I'm going to... Oh, you can see them in the mirror. Wait. You know, it's just better to do it like that. Really nice colour. But, yeah, now I'm going to get ready for pumpkin picking which i'm excited about it's it's sunny it's not raining which is good there's a little place of pig there and i think we're gonna leave at six and get there for like 10 to seven maybe we'll leave a little bit later than six just so we're not too early um but yeah it's about 45 minutes away so that is exciting I can't wait to go pumpkin picking. I love that it's a pumpkin night. It's at Mrs. Dowson's farm. Um, they don't have any left for the year, but if they do it next year, then get it in your calendar. Mrs. Dowson's pumpkin nights. It's twelve ninety five per person. That includes a pumpkin, and they have. It said they have like live music, refreshments, Bailey's and hot chocolate, everything like that. It's in Col Col Clayton Lidale, I think, near Blackburn. I don't live near there, but I think that is right. But yeah, I'm going to get ready now and then ready to go. I'm very excited. I love I love that we get like a free pumpkin each, even though we technically paid more than enough. But it feels free, you know, girl math. So I think I'm going to wear this. Nice, cute little pants. Checkered, you know, autumn, big jumper and a scarf. And then I might take a coat just in case it is cold. What do we think? I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Also, here's the finished makeup. I'm sorry, how good is that for a skin tint? It's not like perfect. You can still see. I mean, I've got loads of texture and stuff. I don't have good skin. <laughs> but I think that's really, really good for a skin tint. I don't know what colour I use, actually. Oh, I've just put it. 36. And that is me like me town shade but yeah ready to go we have arrived but look at this queue oh wait someone's just got out the car it's literally going all the way over there but we think that there's a scare kingdom on as well which we're not going to because <laughs> i'd cry it's fine about it. we've made it really? nice so we've got our tickets literally look at it it's like a whole event <laughs> with markets and everything. I've literally got a little fire going and everything. But we're just having a wander. So they've got, oh, there's a drink bit as well. Drinks, pizza and a farm grill, an indoor bit, a huge pumpkin. And, oh, an ice cream place, which has a huge queue. And then pumpkins down there. Yeah. You can't see me very well, but we've ordered a margarita. I didn't even say that right. We've ordered a margarita pizza from one of the stalls. I don't know if you can see. And I'm excited, and I'm also watching people marshmallow. Come on. How do you say it? Roast marshmallows. Are we gonna get marshmallows? Do we not have any vegetarian ones? Because I don't think they will. I've got my little Coke and literally a front row seat to all the little places. They do have back there like a hot chocolate but the line is all the way to the door so it's not worth it <laughs> not for us anyway here he is oh it looks nice cute the pizza's breaking up a bit oh I get it <laughs> Look at them all. Look at the two of them kissing. 
The white one looks so floppy, I love it. There's little piglets. Looks like one of them's been sick. Oh, just giving birth to him. Oh, right, yeah, first. <laughs> it's just a pig enjoying his... Look at all these pumpkins he's got. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but they are two alpacas right there. <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> oh my God, it is so muddy. I'm literally full. I nearly fell on you then. Oh my god, this is it. It's a bit of track. Oh, is this the pond? It looks so creepy at night. God. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Oh no, they don't. They just get lit up. Yeah, no, I know. Alright. don't act. Right. Oh, there's a little picture bit. We go in that queue. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin patch. Huh? Look at all the. Honestly, actually, it just looks creepy. Like in the camera, it doesn't look like we're just doing like you know, like a cute little pumpkin picking. It's just like darkness. And we can't really see where we're going. And it is chilly. It's cute though. I want a pumpkin with a We've decided we're going to go for ones in these because the rest were so muddy. Even though these look muddy, they're not as muddy. I think there's a little side bit there. Maybe we can go through. I'm not going around that mud again. I have a heart attack. These, oh, it's a bit muddy. That's the problem, isn't it? Cause we've got to take them, we've got to walk like a good 10 minutes in the mud. Huh? Are we allowed to do this? Yeah, we just get two free. We've picked two little pumpkins. We're just gonna wipe them when we get home. We think we're up there alright. Yeah. We came at a good time to even move them. Find a way out. <laughs> Follow the leader. You've got the car. Yeah. But it's so cute. We've got a little we didn't get any alcohol drinks because obviously driving. Oh the live music's begun. So sorry I did not end this vlog. And I was going to show you what the pumpkins that we picked look like. Even though I did yesterday. But um, they're still in Owen's car and he's out. So that's alright. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed. We had the best time yesterday. I love it when we do like cute little date things like that. Because um, as I said to Owen, I don't think we do them enough. Because... We normally just save up and go away rather than just do like cute things in the area. So I'm really glad that we did it and it was really good. And if they have it next year, I'm going to definitely book it again. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.